Greetings everyone, I'm Mr. Moklover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign playing as Luchadores Libres. So, uh, let's go over some custom game rules like we do in every normal game, but let's make sure that, since we're here, we want to make sure that Tlaloc dies early on. I mean, Tlaloc is cool, but maybe we'll get him moving a little bit earlier than normal. Let's go ahead and have his children Come on out, and historical air focuses is off, and let's go right ahead. So the mods I'm using, Old World Blues, Old World Blues Mod Compilation 2, Colored Buttons, Colored Events, Stage Entry Tool Mod, and Player-Led Peace Conferences, all the normal stuff. So, let's begin with a focus, shall we? The heroes of Las Mochas, or Las Mochas. Thirty years after the end of the world, a small tribal community is terrorized and enslaved by local banditos. However, the situation changes when a lone figure in a white mask wanders into town. Yes. Very cool. So, this is a blind playthrough, so I don't really know what's going to happen. Apparently we're tribal, which... I didn't think that we'd be tribal, but you know what? That's... I guess that's okay. Um, I'll be honest, I've never played as a nation before. And... So we'll see what happens. Mm, pipe guns, we have... Mm, I want to use some basic melee weaponry for now. Let's do that one. I really want to emphasize support equipment. Get a canoe, get some convoys, do that. That's fine. Come wherever, so we're only making one of you for now. Bop, there we go. And the divisions we currently have are... Well, maybe not great. Francisco Javier Lozada. More supply consumption, but really a little bit less supply consumption, but really just a little bit more. Inspirational would be very good. And let's see, the militia are looking pretty not great, and the Guardia divisions are looking... Eh, that's the best way I can really put it. So, eh, cool, and before we begin... Actually, just go ahead. Oh, we can play as them. Game rule decision. Uh, I'm okay. This is a Luchadoras decision. Oh, and no longer the Protector's Guarantee. Tlaloc stagnation. Um, the reason I wanted to break up Tlaloc early is just because I wanted to see more warfare early on. It's always kind of boring waiting for Tlaloc to die, and he always guarantees everyone, so I'm like, you know what, early on, let's just go go to town. So, we, this first part already looks like it ready. it's from the focus. However, the situation changes when a lone figure in the white mask wanders into town and introduces a challenge to Banditos. Despite all odds, a figure drives off the Banditos, only to succumb to his wounds in the aftermath of the battle. His sacrifice would inspire generations of tribals to make up to take up masks and fight their oppressors, with his dying words carrying them into the future. So, memories of justice will get more defense. Shelter for the weak for more civilian factory construction bonus. Right now, though, we don't have any factories. So, while that'd be nice, we always can use defense. Let's go with that. And then, the Bastardo of Guamuchul. The return of El Santo and his sacrifice would go on to inspire a tribal uprising that forced the local banditos into exile and defeat, with the singular exception of a war band. Very good. Very, very good. Let's see. Yeah, we have... That's a lot of things we can't use. So, and defeat with a singular exception of one war band. These warriors adopted the masks and tactics of their enemies, fashioning themselves after the blue demon that once challenged El Santo. While antagonistic towards the fellows, none can deny the place the blue demons have earned in free fighter society, for they are willing to do what must be done. A villain for every tale, or honor to a point. You know what? We went with defense. I'm going to go with more attack. It's only 5%, so not that much. The monster of Kulakan. The arrival of the Great Wanderer broke a hundred years of status quo among the warring tribes of the Free Fighters. Yes, very good. And what's the population like? 180? That's a lot of population. That's really nice. Uh, let's see. The arrival of the Great Wanderer broke a hundred years of status quo among the warring tribes of the Free Fighters, for this great foe was greater than any who had come to threaten them before. Easily defeating several chiefs in single combat, the monsters claimed the masks of his defeated foes, establishing himself as a new leader of the tribes. To all who inspired or inquired, he made his goals clear. <coughs> he sought to form an army with which to defeat the Legion of the Fallen Wolf. A new homeland for recruitable populatio bonus. Populatio. Okay, cool. That's different. No more fear. Military factory construction speed. Uh, I'm going to go with more military stuff this time. So, sure. Populatio. Tag Team of the Century. The last match for the leadership of the Free Fighters ended with no clear winner, and yet it remains the greatest match the Federation has ever seen. Very cool. And oh my goodness, we're going to need so much more infantry equipment, so go and do that then. Build, build, build. We're Free Fighters, we like working with our fists, I think, working with our hands. So how about we just beat people with up with iron bars? Cool. The last match for the leadership were the Free Fighters, and with no clear winner yet. It remains the greatest match the Federation has ever seen. El Santo and the Blue Demon face each other in the Los Mocas ring, trading blows for blow, just as El Santo was to claim victory from the crowds emerging the Green Giant himself. Mil Mascaras leaped into the ring, and it was only through their combined power that the Blue Demon and El Santo were able to force him to a draw. When the desert settled on the ruined remains of what had once been the Los Mocas ring, a new fellowship was formed. Las Tres Mascaras would rule the Federation as equals until they face each other in the ring once again. What a match! That's actually really, really awesome. That's really, really cool. Yeah. 
Oh, lost stress must get us. Dislikes the Legion. Oh, we got that face, white face, blue face. Oh, that's kind of cool. And a division in the Federation, or the Unbowed. Well, let's see, can we do anything else? Everything else is pretty much locked. So let's go to division in the Federation. Not everyone has accepted the results of the great match. Even now, talk circulates among the tribe, questioning the fitness of Las Tres, Ma Las Tres Mascaras to lead the Federation. And that is our first 60-day focus. So we have... Ros let's see, Las Tres Mascaras. Oh, that was actually... F hold on, that was 5% recruitable population? I thought that was 5% recruitable population factor. I'm like, that's not much, but we'll still choose it anyways. Okay, I'm feeling very good about my choice. Attack, defense, and 5%. Oh, that's so nice. But we have Russell Monger, so we can actually send volunteers. I I don't think I've ever sent volunteers, maybe. Maybe once I have, but I don't think I have. In Old World Blues before. So, that's actually really cool. We might do that. Nobody fights without the Lucha. Huh. Suplexing Legionnaires. Choke slamming Yakuza. Or just ROKing Graven's Boys. Oh, man. That's kind of wild. What do we have? We're going to get paid soon. That's very nice. You know what? Since we're here, I've gotten more and more used to just buying stuff from the black market, which I think is a good thing. Uh, for now, let me get a scavenging program. It's not like we can use factories, can we? So, you might as well, right? Grab some description. Um, here, we're going to... We could do that. Uh, get some more construction speed, even though we're not even using it. We will start doing our land auction, which I'm not really sure. Land auction for... We're tribals. It seems like asymmetric warfare would be best. We're not going to go refined warfare. We're not probably not going to go automated. So, it's either conventional or asymmetric. Hmm. Because asymmetric seems normal for a tribal nation, especially wasteland tactics. Ancient tactics doesn't make sense for luchadors. Probably. Conventional warfare troopers. We might just go wasteland tactics. Let me know. I'll, I'll leave it up to you guys. Should we go conventional warfare or asymmetric warfare? Let me know in the comments below. Just because we only have three research slots, so we have got a little bit of time before I really have to start thinking about that. We could go that direction. What do we have actually around here? Land auction. Oh, we do have a bonus for asymmetric. More attack, less defense. It's not bad. And over here, pretty normal stuff. Let's see anything different. Not really. Not really. Keeper of the Ritual. Peaceful Origins. Oh, that's not great. Ricardo Flores. That would be bad. Uh, I like that. 5% more research speed would be nice. I do want to see if we can go down here. Maybe we can actually start using a factory or two? Maybe? No? Okay. Well, that was worth trying. Not everyone has accepted the results of the great match. Even now, talk circulates among the tribe, questioning the fitness of Las Tres Mascaras to lead the Federation. Before the leadership of the Federation can be decided once for all, we must work together to unify our people. Well, I don't know. We'd lose a war support for that, so. Uh, the Unbowed. Not all have the Lucha tribes accepted the rule of Las Tres Mascaras. There yet remains yet three groups who need to unite under our banner. Okay, cool, cool. And do we get more guns and stuff like that? So we, we're, get, we're getting there. Actually, yeah, we're still waiting on it, which is fine. Can we throw anything on here yet? We have nothing, absolutely nothing unlocked. Oh, that hurts to see. That really hurts to see. I'm gonna grab that one too. Oh my goodness. We still have Cloudlock Stagnation. Uh, oh, that gives us stability, actually. We can go. Oh my gosh, it costs so much to get out of this. But that's okay, since we did get that 5% population factor, or population, not even factor. That is a. Uh, that's a really good thing, yeah. Even though going up here doubles your population. I like that with Mexico, as you increase your conscription level, people aren't more pissed off at you, if anything. You actually get more war support, and you get more, uh, like, attack and defense, and maybe support, surrender limit, and con output construction speed, which is different from, you know, most of the mods, as you raise your conscription level, which I kind of like. Uh, you know what, since we're here, we can believe in a basic plane. Let's see, let's grab another general, perhaps... Enrique Ob Obregon. Obregon. Cool. Swamp Troll. Now, I don't think I've seen that in a very long time. We can get Fortunate Leader. I kind of like that. Grab that and we'll get, grab Fortunate Leader. And then Swamp Troll. He's going to be with us for the entire campaign. You know what? I'm going to switch you around. I don't want to use garbage. So, uh, I'm going to assume maybe we'll fight those guys first. I have no idea. Go ahead and then train when you're there. We have a little bit, a little bit of command power. So, let's go ahead and increase you to Inspirational. Hey, the division, great. Now we really hurt ourselves in terms of, uh, huh, supplies, I bet. Actually, that's not too bad. So, not all the Lucha tribes have accepted the rule of the Las Tres Mascaras. Oh my gosh, what did I choose this? Three groups yet remain who will need to unite under our banner. Las Medicinas, 
the Shadow Walkers, and Two Faced Warriors. Each of these tribes will need to be convinced to work with us one way or another. Well, well okay then. Let's see. Super Mutant Auxiliaries. That's kind of cool. In honor of the Saint. Let's go with uh, Shadow Walkers. Shadow Walkers worship the ba Black Shadow and Ancient Evil, who, who said to have done battle with El Santo on numerous occasions, only to be eventually defeated by the great hero of old. This deity, being so at odds with their own, keeps relations tense. However, with the rise of the cartel, such as a clandestine ally, would be prove very, very useful. Medical stuff. You kind of figure they give you medical stuff. We can buy some more. Why not? Good, good, good. Let's see. Anything here? Anything more that we really need to do here? Crowd control. Let's grab some of that. That's fine. That one's, that one's always good to do. Guns will come on very nicely. We make some become convoys. We must have our ship. Their reclamation authority. Very, very good. We should get an admiral named Valer Valerano Cora. Cool. Hopefully we'll use the navy in this campaign, even though I really don't use the navy that often. Next up, we shall grab... I'm going to grab this person for more stability. 10% is not anything to scoff at, especially since we lost... 10, 15. We lost 15. We got 10 more back. And we get slightly more political power. It doesn't really hurt give us that much more, but you know what? I think that's really fitting for us. So, let's see. Uh, we can't send out manual prospectors. We need more infantry equipment. That sucks. So we're, we're trying to get that, which is a great thing. You might as well use your caps early on, right? Might as well. Uh, support equipment. And, but you know what? It could be worse. I do have a couple of... What was it? White chocolate, strawberry, truffle, Kona, coffee. Coffee's always great. Have a nice, good old sip. Ah, very good. Yeah, we're going to need more army XP so we can make these guys at least 20 combat with. Oh, look at, look at that population. That's so nice. Woodworking, so good. And gliders. Eh, that's a little bit ahead of time. We're not going to do that yet. Land auction, I, I'm going to wait for you guys to give me your suggestions. Air stuff, that's good. Industry, get some of that. And then grab some. Uh, we could do that. Let's grab this up. Oh, wait, hold on. Let's not do that, because I don't know if we can, we're can. we going to stay tribal. We might become civilized. We might not. So we're going to wait, actually, for this one. Resources. Eh, grab that one. That's better. I actually caught myself this time. Usually, I just select this one without even thinking. But we'll see what happens. Traditionally unwilling to work with the Federation, the recent addition of the Blue Demons have opened up unexpected dialogue to the Shadow Walkers. For the patron god is once to have said work towards work closely with the Blue Demon. The Shadow Walkers are willing to side with the Federation, and proved, provided that the Blue Demon Gult pushed to earn them pardons for the various crimes they've committed in their long history of wars with the Cult of El Santo. While the Cult of, El S cult of the Saints is willing to make some early sacrifices, they're unwilling to pardon them at all. Ooh, we get a political advisor. Special Forces Attack, Defense, and Special Forces Capacity Multiplier, or Knight Called Ortiz is Pardoned. Mmm, 15% isn't that... 5% isn't that great for military construction speed. Am I going to use Special Forces in this campaign at all? Special Forces Luchadors. I thought everyone we'd be using would be a Luchador. I don't want to really... I don't know. I don't, I don't want to say no. Hmm... 5% more military construction speed as a political advisor, though. Cultural, military staff. Well. Hmm. They say political, but just cultural stuff, I guess. No, maybe not. No, is it not? No. No, it's not. Hmm. Ah, oh, here it is. It is economic. They say political it actually means economic. Oh, resistance target might not be bad, actually. Miller military factory construction speed. Special, you know what, 7%, uh, you know what, let's go with it, why not. Cool, so we get, well, I guess we'll use special forces in this campaign, the Battle of Mazatlan, Demon's Nightmare, Honor the Saint, I like this, but it seems like this stuff can wait for now, let's approach the Medicinas, they are the second most respected tribe in this entire federation, well, they would be if they actually chosen to join it, their peace-mongering ways have made them very apprehensive about joining in the quest to remove the cartels. Hmm. We have outside our volunteers. We already have Ricardo Flores, which is nice. What can we do here? Send out manual prospectors. Let's see what we can do. Hopefully we can get some good stuff, because who doesn't like getting good stuff? And we are not done mobilizing yet. Nice. We're going to get so much population. I love Mexico, because their manpower levels are just off the charts. They have so much population in Mexico compared to the rest of the West Side, especially like Nevada, Utah, Washington, Oregon. Oh my goodness, they just have so many people down there. I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. And you guys are actually all done. Nice. Level 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. That's really disappointing, but whatever. Ooh, more divisions? I'm actually going to get a second general now. 
because we got quite a few ways to get into the cartel. We might get there, we might not. Why do you have to not be super bueno here? Let's go and grab that one, that's fine. Fine. Let time go on. Good. And we got some more waterways around here as well, so. Go ahead and train if you need to. If you need to. Oh, goodness. We're always going to need more guns, aren't we? Hmm. Focus on the internal sphere. Yeah, It's never really worth it. Current expenses? I like the expenses right now. Can we, we can't change it out of that. That costs so much to get out of it, which is fine. Production efficiency growth. Captain of industry. We might grab that. Consumer goods, actually... We have one. Actually. 18%. We can lower that by 5% more. Oh, lady lasers. Ooh. I'm going to go ahead and go with Freeman's Fixes. Because that one's always so good to choose. It's for more construction speed. I know I didn't choose the ones that we could have gotten bonuses for. For like more faster. More faster is not proper English. But faster civilian and military construction speed. I don't know. Attack and defense for every single division seems really, really nice though. And approaching them. The followers of El Santo, the most beloved of the free fighter tribes in the eyes of the common people under the protection, which is why the refusal to join the Federation has caused such turmoil in the lands. The me Medicinas worship the long-lost Dr. Wagner, a philanthropist wrestler from long before the war, and following his footsteps by offering medicinal treatments and charity work to those who need it. Among the tribes are easily the least inter interested in aggressive expansion or open conflict with their foes. It can be none other than El Santo who must bring bridge the gap with his tribe and stress upon them the importance of protecting others. So he agrees, research speed goes up and resistance record goes down. For Honorable Sergeant Rivera, Division Organization. Oh, I gotta choose Rivera, because as much as I love more research speed, if we're gonna say tribal, I don't know if we are or not, but if we're gonna say tribal, it doesn't really matter how much research speed we have. So, I like the Honorable Sergeant Rivera agrees. More Division Organization and recovery rate? Yes, please. We get medical technology. Actually, it wouldn't be too bad. Division Organization Twins and the Giants has fund the Wagner Hospital. The Wagner Hospital, named after the Medina's own Dr. Wagner, is purposely a med medical facility in Los Colinas. If built a plan, it would be the greatest or biggest facility in all the Federation. Oh boy. Maybe even in Mexico. Putting a little funding towards this venture will surely smooth things over with the Medicinas. Yes, very good. Very good. Help us still just wait a little bit longer. Uh, we can wait a little bit longer for that. Eh, crowd control. Crowd control is always good. And we'll have to get special forces as well. Don't want to forget that. Definitely don't want to forget that. Wow, we have one factory to use. Great. Mm, this wouldn't hurt us too badly to do that. Now we have only six caps. For the entire nation. Kind of crazy to think about. Very good. Warrior training, very good as well. Still, only two army XP, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Full war and rip breakers. Can I actually go to war with these guys immediately? I might be actually able to. That's probably in our focus tree to actually get rid of these guys, but we'll see what happens. Iron Lance and Wither Dogs. Very cool. Very cool. Let's see. Research. Ah, seed selection is done. Great. We could grab that. I really don't like limiting myself early on. Dynamite. Uh, if we're going to do stuff ahead of time, just go and grab that one then. It's fine. More divisions? Good. Scam just found something. A naval doctrine. How great. <laughs> How great to have a naval doctrine that we're really focusing on right now. Still not looking great, but that's okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we only have five over there, so then we're going to need some more. Oh, cartels are killing each other? Oh, no, Zapata's killing these guys down there. Oh, we might. Oh, we're going to have to rush anti tank. We're definitely going to have to rush anti tank against these guys. Because fighting Tlaloc Sons is always a massive issue for me. Oh boy. <clears throat> Gente de Souls dispute the legitimacy of a border and claim that they are the rightful owner of the land. Their leader, General Simo Vailla, has refused contact and does not appear willing to negotiate. Although these claims are clearly fraudulent, they may be able to go to war with us on this basis in the future. That is not good. Well, he has border disputes. And he probably claimed our land, but hmm, we'll see what happens. Charity Smackdown, the Battle of Paragons. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Winter Charity Smackdown. In the left corner, you have the gracious and honorable good Dr. Wagner. In the right corner is the big lucha himself, El Santo. <laughs> That's funny. That's really funny. Let's see. Um, I'm not really sure, but I still want to get more daily army XP. 
Asymmetric warfare. Oh, I could really get myself. It doesn't really matter too much. Hmm. Let's, let's see. I was thinking about choosing either one of those. Nothing there. That's fine. Wall painter. Mm, I'm going to go ahead and get good natured just because we have two. We doubled it. Nice. Not bad. A little better. In about a year and a half, we'll get that done. That's okay. Come on, Genta. Go to fight me. Fight me already. Fight me. See what happens when you... Okay. 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 They were being serious about that. <laughs> okay. They were actually being serious about that. Okay. How many divisions do they have? I was expecting to go to war this early, but okay. One to two thousand divisions. What we could do... You know what? We're just going to do this. We're going to make it really simple for them. Two guys there. Actually, you know what? I don't want to use you. We, you have six over here, so... I wonder... Because we're going to just bait them into attacking us if possible. They definitely will not be able to break our lines. Unless they navally invade us, which could happen. Okay, time to go on. And we'll keep you guys kind of in the back as kind of reserve divisions for now. It's fine. And that stuff could be good, but we're going to wait. It is almost 2276, so... Go and grab more reinforced rape. And we're going to need more guns, or melee equipment, which is fine. So, she declared war on the Western Brotherhood. Are they manually justifying, or... They are manually justifying, so they got another 80 days, that's fine. You guys... Taking your, taking your sweet time getting over there, but, you know, at least we got some time. I don't know, infrastructure isn't bueno, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh... You know what, here's... I don't want to add you guys to the normal front. I'm actually going to get a third general, surprisingly, because we have to cover that area as well. Which is fine. It's only nine political power. Uh, let's see. Agile, perceptive, fast metabolism. Going to need to eat a little bit more. Okay, whatever. Cool. Um, for now, we have no recon on our divisions. Attack probably would be pretty good. Let's grab attack. I want you to train. Y'all, pretty good for now, but we can let you train as well. Let them try to attack us. If they try to needle invade us, so be it, whatever. I don't really care. And hopefully, with them going to war with us, it'll give us some more army XP. And we're still mobilizing. 10,000 divisions already. And actually, you know what? With this cartel, they're slowly losing against these guys, but I'm I'm kind of liking this. Rebuilding... The oh, wait, they're fighting both cartels. They're fighting both these people. Are these guys allied? No, okay. 713 divisions. They're pretty equal in terms of strength, even though these guys, these guys have more, but... Hmm. Ah, Battle of the Powder Guys. The traditional final conflict in Sepin King true membership into the Federation is to be a wrestling match between the leader of the Federation and the leader of the tribe itself. After a brief discussion, it is agreed that El Santo shall do battle with the Dr. Wagner in a highly publicized and advertised charity event, the gains of which are going to be used to help fund the recently finished hospital. The conflict between these two can be considered lucha at its purest, lacking in any un underhanded tactics with and with numerous moments of incredible respect between the two. The result of this conflict is inevitable, however, as Dr. Wagner is a far less warrior than his contemporary in the heroic El Santo, who ends the match by helping his beaten foe stand. Healing power and logistic companies! Two medicinas, six infantry divisions with logistics- Oh my goodness! Oh, I love- I'm, I'm starting to really like this, this nation. Oh my goodness. Now, that's not cool, but having these two already, yes, please. Yes, please. That is awesome. Uh, Battle of Land Auction. Oh, let's go to grab Insane, in honor of the Saints since we're going to go to war soon anyways. Today, we celebrate the great El Santo the Martyr who came to our lands and drove out the wretched banditos who lorded over us. Parades run through the cities of Los Mocos and celebrations are held as a new statue of the Saint is revealed in Town Square. Very, very good. And the jackals are gone. Good for them. Uh, very good, very good, very good. Honestly, who cares about making Guardian Divisions better? This is looking really good. I love that. Logistics and chems. Both. Some of my favorite things to get in this entire, you know, mod. Yes, please. Very much yes, please. Go ahead and keep training them up. That'd be great. You guys. No, we're looking pretty good so far. Go, just go there. Resistors. I love it. I love it. Love it. Uh, construction speed. Sure. So we can work on this just a little bit faster. Oh yeah, they, they definitely want to kill off our divisions. I might have to plump up some of these divisions a little bit more though. Move over there, one, two. Move over there, and then put you right there. There you go. Just in case. You know what? I'll throw you over here too. We might need a few more divisions for that. Let's see. Ooh, discouraged traders. Welcome to army. That's fine. Civilian stuff. We could get that. Uh, 
more max entrenchment would be pretty good. But we're going to go to war pretty darn soon. Cruz, Shade Bringer. We'll definitely get him eventually. We'll probably get him. Oh, that looks so so nice. More attack. I love the organization recovery. I love that too. There's so many good ones we can choose this one at this time. Why? Why do you have to hurt me so? Recovery rate and organization might be really good. Right down here. Hmm. Hmm. Just use that one for now, since it's hard for me to choose. So we got a slightly better 10% gives us one more month ahead. So that's not bad. One, two, three, four, five, six. Our oh, guardian's still moving up. You know what? I'm gonna go and shift you over. It looks like we're gonna need at least three, 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 maybe, maybe, maybe not. Let's see. Engineering is coming along. Grab some more output. That would be great. 43 caps, not that many. Um. Hopefully they're good to war with us. Yep, they immediately go to war with us. All right, so you guys are going to come over here. It's fine. All but one is going to come over there as well. So go ahead and help out if you can. If not, we'll, we'll shift some divisions around. I really was not expecting to go to war this early with Genta. But you know what? That daily army XP looking really nice, even though we are already out of guns. Hmm. I'm going to need more caps. That's not good. <laughs> That's not a good thing. Smoke signals are very nice, though. Very good. Some more encryption, good. They shouldn't be able to break us, but <clears throat> you never know. Hmm. Hmm. Well, <clears throat> Javier, fancy school. Uh, gun nut. Ah, grab gun nut. Why not? It's only three percent. That's not bad. <clears throat> good division defense. Uh, more recovery rate wouldn't be bad. Let's do two-faced warriors. So, the twin luchadores of the Two-Faced Warrior tribe are a pair of proud, worshipping one Dos Caras, who was thought to be the best lucha of his age. The two resist joining the Federation because of this pride, so it's about time we knock them down a peg. Now, we shouldn't lose here, but we'll see what happens. Oh, we have a cross. Yes, Legend of the Saint. I think that's great. We actually got more encryption and decryption, too. When do we get that? Cool. So, we can also do this stuff, so we'll get the bazaar next, probably. Shion Reno's. Nice. Oh, we can actually do the Sun Eater channels, too. Ooh, a lot of things are finally unlocking. The War of the Mask. Oh, I love this. You guys are down there, still hanging out. We probably don't need to throw any more divisions on that army, so we'll come here as well. There we go. You guys can do that. Keep training, keep training. You guys are doing great. Um, we might still need to throw in more divisions over here, but you are probably learning a lot. He's probably level 3. Good, good, good. He's inspirational, so that's really good. Enrique! Swamp Troll, would be bad. I, I want to do that, but mm, right now, he's mostly using infantry. That could be really good. I don't, are we on swamps right I don't think we're on swamps, are we? So, is this planes? Um, planes? No, oh, that's strength. I forgot that was... Mm. Can't really see any of that, so. Uh, okay, let's have him go on for now. Swamps. Let's just go and do it, so we don't forget about it later. We can choose stuff later. I've never had a swamp troll swamp box before. Oh, that is looking slightly weak, so that's not good. I'm actually gonna throw one of you guys in here. There you go. Because you guys look like you weren't winning for a little bit, but that's okay. And Guardia. Yeah, just go and throw these guys on. That'll be nice. Oh, we ruined the, the support equipment. That's fine. It's fine for now. If that's okay. Let's go ahead and lower this one. Ooh, spec ops. Yes, 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 yes. Go ahead and do that. Go ahead and just train one for now. We don't have the ar army XP for it, but that'll be okay. Encoded signals. Very good. Good decode signals. Ah, beautiful. <clears throat> Hopefully, no one else attacks us at the same time. We get local leader. That's always good. Good, always good to get. Losses: 77 versus 700, almost 800. Feeling pretty good about this. Not gonna lie, feeling pretty good. Yeah, 84 caps. Still not enough to get more guns. We're gonna need more support equipment as well and spec ops. But actually, guns are doing okay. Or me melee equipment, we should really say. How much manpower does Agenda have? Our gunshots. Mm, that's not bad. 
manpower is slowly going down for them. Even if they were to take over and break us and through our lands, they still have to deal with the resistance. That's good. Twinned Trouble, Two Face Worship, Dos Caras, also known as the Two Masks, who have said have been one of the largest and most powerful wrestlers in his age. It is pride that keeps them from bowing to the Federation and an unrelenting belief in their superior own superiority. Mel Mascaras, whose namesake once did battle at the side of Dos Caras, believes that the easiest way to bring the twin chieftains into the fold is to defeat the members of their tribe one by one in order to assert dominance. Bowels to the Federation. Ooh, attack and defense. Or Mighty Dos Rodriguez. Bowels to the Federation. Ooh, you know what? We've been going this entire time by not choosing building stuff, so we're going to go grab this one. Ooh, Supernatural Auxiliary, Special Forces. We could do that. I kind of do War of the Masks. Critical Population Factor. Infrastructure. Nice. More monthly population might be really, really good. But let's do the bazaar. El Bazaar de los Calinas is a grand market in the center of town where the traders from all around the southwest coast come to do business with the free fighters and each other. This location presents an excellent opportunity for civilian industry as it allows for easy access to a good, diverse range of goods. A good, diverse range. Just a diverse range. A great, diverse range. That'd be very nice. But this is very nice. Yeah, actually, these guys are looking pretty weak, actually, just because we don't have enough resources. Oh, my goodness. We need more factories. Once we get a positive amount, then we're going to increase this amount up down here. Twin Mothers has been fighting them now. Uh, we need to get some of that, get some of this. That's a little bit too ahead of time for us. We'll grab more monthly population. And you know what? I guess we'll end the episode there because next up, I want to choose which land doctrine we're going to go down. But I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. Don't forget to remind me which land auction we should go down with this campaign, and I will see you all tomorrow as we'll have a great time entering Genta Del Sol's territory. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.